hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video today's video is going to be very special video because this video is going to be about you guys i am getting a lot of comments from you guys regarding the issues that you are facing many people are facing issues on the ios 18.0 heating issues battery issues many other issues many people have updated their devices to 18.1 public beta 2 slash 18.1 developer beta 5 and being very honest developer beta 5 is also quite buggy so people are facing battery issues again heating issues again and maybe some people are facing touch issues so yes there are few bugs going on um on the 18.1 and also on the 18.0 well 18.0 is a public update there shouldn't be bugs but there are apple is working on another update and hopefully they will bring 18.0.1 so for 18.0 18.0.1 is coming well for the 18.1 people that is a beta so whenever you install beta you have to expect bugs because there are going to be bugs but in today's video i'm going to talk about how you can improve the battery of your device it doesn't matter that you are on ios 18.0 I was 18.1, I was 17.7, I was 17.6.1, any version. This, these tips work for every other version and it is going to help to improve the battery life of your device. So I'm gonna share some tips and tricks. I will also share some settings that you can make. So let's begin. Very first one, whenever you're going to charge your device, always use original accessories. So you must be using original Apple adapter, also the original data cable for your device. Now this data cable is one of those that come out of uh, the box with this device. And I'm using this data cable since one year, more than one year, working perfectly fine for me. So you always try to use original products. Don't go for the copy ones. Copy ones always create problems they can impact your battery life or you can also get third party chargers maybe from different companies like anchor or anything else but also use original chargers of third party companies too but always try to use original chargers original chargers can help to improve the battery life of your device so yes make sure to use the original one now moving to the another tip is a very simple one whenever you are charging your device make sure to keep your device between 20 to 80 percent which means if your phone is around 80 percent just unplug it you don't have to go more than 80 percent unless you are going out or maybe something if you are at home and you are not that have user it is always better to just um, stop charging your device when it reaches 80 percent also when your device is near 20%, stop using your iPhone and plug in the charger. I always prefer not to use my device um, under uh, 20%. It is going to improve your battery life and also it is going to um, enhance the battery health of your device. So these two tips are very important. And if you apply these two tips, you are going to get a really good battery life and you're going to have a much better battery health of your device. Now let's get into the iOS and let's talk about what settings uh, you can do to improve the battery life. So let's go to the settings over here. Go to the privacy and security section over here. From here, go to the tracking over here and in tracking, turn off the tracking for every other application off. When the tracking is off, it is not uh, consuming um, services in the background, which is going to help to improve your uh, battery life. Go back, go to the location services. Now customize the location services according to your choice. You can keep it to while using, never, but never use the, these options. For example, always or while using the app or widgets. I don't prefer these two options. I always select while using the app or never when you are on this option of always the location will be turned on always in the background and that will consume a lot of battery so customize the location services for every other application according to your need and it is going to help you a lot to save you a lot of 
battery. Now go all the way down over here. There are system services. Go all the way down. Here are three options available in the product improvement section. iPhone analytics, routing, traffic, and improve maps. Well, you can turn these off too. You don't need to turn on this one. Also, what you can do is you can customize the system services location according to your choice. For example, I don't use HomeKit at all, but I do want my device to be a user location for Find My iPhone. So for the HomeKit, the location is off, but for Find My iPhone, the location is turned on. This way you can customize what, what uh, setting you want to turn on and what not. This is also going to help to improve your device battery life. Also, when go back, go back again over here, go all the way down, stay in the privacy and security section. Over here, there is analytics and improvements option over here. Going over here, turn every other setting off. You don't need to turn this setting off. If these settings are on, what it does, they share data of your device with Apple so they can improve their products and other stuff. Well, when this is happening, it definitely gonna take uh, background services, background processing that is going to consume a lot of battery. So I don't think you need to share your data to improve the products. So just turn this off, focus on your device battery life. And it is also going to enhance the battery life of your device a lot. Go back from here, go to the Apple advertising over here, turn the personalized ads off also. It is also going to help to improve the battery life of your iPhone. Go back again, go back from here, from here, go to the journal over here. In journal, go to airdrop, from airdrop, by default, everyone for 10 minutes is turned on or maybe context only is turned on. I will prefer you to select receiving off option. It is also going to enhance the battery life of your device. Now go back from here, go into the background app refresh. Now you can from here also customize the background app refresh for your device. So if there is any application that you don't want it may be running in the background, for example, this one, maybe news one or any other game, maybe you can turn off the background app, re app refresh for that application. And that is also going to help to improve the battery life of your device a lot. Now these were some of the tips and tricks through which you can improve the battery life of your iPhone and it can enhance your overall experience. There's a very important thing to understand when you apply these all tips. Don't expect the battery life to get better in a single day. It always take a couple of days to get better. So maybe it is going to take two days to get better, but give your battery life a small piece of time. Let it improve itself but after applying these um, settings, tips and tricks. Well, that's it from this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.